Hello everyone, my name is Vaibha Wadekar. I am Lead Tech Support Analyst here at BMC Software. Today I'm going to show you how to migrate the MyIT data from one environment to another environment. As you can see on my screen, I have a source server where I have the catalog and every other data that has been created. I have created the locations and other stuff as well from my IT admin console. So our purpose is to migrate this catalog data from the source environment to the target environment. Uh, please make a note that when I say uh, catalog, you have to make sure that the underlying SRDs are already migrated to the target server and we are just migrating the my IT data. Let's see how we can do that. So this is my target server where you see that I don't have any catalog at this moment though I have the SRDs imported on this target server and uh, let's see how we can run this data transfer utility uh, to export the data from the source server and then import it on the target server. So as you can see on my screen, uh, below is the list of items that get exported and imported with this data transfer utility. Uh, you can uh, refer the KA I created uh, 124880 uh, in case you would like to get this utility uh, tried out. At this point, this utility is not supported. As you can see in my screen, I extracted the utility my IT data transfer for my IT version 3.2 and I'm going to make a couple changes. The first change that I made uh, in this utility is editing the export.bat available within scripts. So I changed the Java home to point out the correct Java. The second uh, file that we referred was run export.bat which we're going to run. Uh, basically, uh, while run, with, with running this uh, batch file, it will create a zip file called all.zip and it will export uh, data that we specify within the export type. And then it, you can configure this parameter based on the database that my IT smart IT is using. And if your environment is set up for multi tenant and you would like to just export the data from one tenant, uh, you can specify the tenant ID. The next change that we made was in the file called msql connection dot properties. So basically there are two files. Uh, one is for Oracle, other is for msql. So I provided the database host uh, port and uh, database details here. Now let's go ahead and run this utility. As you can see in my screen, I uh, run the utility run underscore export dot bat, which eventually executed for tenant ID one, which is the default tenant and it uh, finished and exported the data and as you can see that the all.zip got created and these are the data that get exported. So we copied the all.zip to the target server and I run this utility run import.bat but before running the utility I make sure that I enter the uh, parameters within msql.connection.properties for the target server in the import.bat uh, the java home and in the import, run import.bat uh, specify the all.zip and then the path for the msql properties file and the tenant id uh, once i run this utility you can see that it completed successfully and he, in the log you can see that it tried to import it all that and it says entities have been imported and as you can see on the target server the catalog has been imported and the location service has been imported successfully and here you can see all the catalogs is present on the target environment so this concludes our session uh, for learning how to migrate the my it data from one environment to another environment Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.